It's Wednesday night, the 1st of April, and I can't believe it. It's 92 days, 92 whole days of living the dream on my journey to alignment. Tonight is the first day of a new month, April. But before I get too far into this, let me show you this. This is just Tuesday's uh, to-do list. Bam! Done! Somehow I sit this down without winding it up, and I miss out on that feeling of closure on a fantastic day of accomplishment. Uh, of course, it's one piece at a time, but it's still accomplishing it. So with that done, I'm ready to talk about today. Here's my power statement for today. Start building out lesson seven. So take a look at this. Let me show you this real quick. Call this up. There we go. Let me turn it around. So there you go. <laughs> As I mentioned a couple of days ago, there are 18 segments that I'll be building out over the next couple of three days. And uh, today I got four of them done. And that's the first one. You can see that little transition. That's the pieces of uh, the uh, dream and goal that's coming through the portal of the mind and into the world of the physical. I like that transition. It's a vortex picture. I love it. Okay, here's my to-do list for today. Wednesday to-do. First one said, start building out lesson seven and check my accounts, pay the bills, check, check, check. I did some calling to the folks there at Avalon Care Center. Bless their hearts. They're stuck in their rooms. They're trying to slowly take one at a time, maybe out for just a little bit in the Padaway area and put it back in. It's just really been difficult for them. Anyhow, there's a few things I put on here. It wasn't on my list to do. I just wanted to make sure I recorded them down so that I could remember them and they're important to do. And so, bam, done. Okay, let's answer Croy's Get Honest With Yourself questions. What didn't go well today, Marty? Or what could you have done better today? Did you wake up early and strong? Oh, I just, six o'clock this morning, I boot, my body just was awake and I slipped out of bed, went in and whoosh, cold water on the face. Oh, that feels so great. I uh, brushed my teeth, went to the bathroom, just got a little bit ready and went down to do my morning uh, routine. The win the morning, win the day. Did you start your morning with power? Boy, after that... Mindfulness time, a little bit of reading and quiet. Gratitude in, chaos out. It was great. Power. Were you the uh, productive today? Four pieces through the portal of my mind into the world of the physical. You better believe I was. Did you get most important things done? Yes, I did. Did you move your goals forward? Well, that's almost redundant, isn't it? But I go through those three questions every day because it's the production of this kind of a lesson, piece after piece after piece, right to here, there, that gives you such an incredible feeling. So yes, I moved my goals forward. Did you show up as the person you wanted to? We had a great evening together, Kathy and I, absolutely. Our personal time together was wonderful, and I was present, and she was present for me too. It's just so beautiful. Now, combine these questions together and ask yourself this question. Were you honest with yourself today, Marty, about your tasks? I have been completely truthful. Got those things done. So exciting. It's tedious. 18 different slides, but it's going to be a fantastic uh, lesson for these beginner entrepreneurs to make sure they have the right legal structure. Most of them are going to, of you, I think, are going to end up with a sole proprietorship, but some of you are going to have a situation where you need to do the S corporation. You need to do some other way of uh, setting up your business, and that's great. As far as what I'm committed to this morning, I have kept every commitment. And so that's a great feeling. Next, Corey asks, is, what was the one thing out of all the things you did today, Marty, that you know you could improve on going forward? In other words, did you have or did you experience any failure today? And if so, what was it? 
Uh, could you turn it into a tool of success going forward? Well, there wasn't anything that stands out as a failure. Of course, there's always room for improvement. There's no perfect person. I'm far from being perfect. As part of my morning routine, I say that I'm going to do better today because I'm going to be better. That's one of the sentences of that thing I read every day. And, and I think about that, that I'm going to be better today than I was yesterday. So that's the part of the goal today is just be better and think better and act better and perform better and get more done than I did yesterday and and just not overwhelming but just become a little better every day the next question is what was the biggest success you had today Marty well my biggest success today was keeping up with all that I wanted to get done today and reminding uh, myself all the things I want to still get done and still remain cheerful and happy about all of it sometimes we can feel like we had way too much to do and so that we feel the the burden kind of weighing on us of it all. Well, that is not how I felt today. I felt strong, I felt focused, and I enjoyed a sense of real accomplishment today because I was doing less than seven, excuse me, less than seven of my coaching package. And that's so exciting to me. So bam, done, seven's on its way. The next question is, what movies did you watch in your mind today, Marty? Did you make time for them? I pre-played my Fab Four movies and I kept visualizing doing my Insight Successful Business Owner guest interviews and seeing the recordings on the webinar system screen with people logging in as they come in to watch the live interviews and, and having questions and comments. The system I'm imagining in my mind has a chat scrolling where people have uh, logged in and then they answer, has their name and a little question or a comment or yes or whatever. When I ask them a question, they can say yes. And I, Anyhow, I'm pre-playing these movies all day long because that Insight sites um uh, into the minds of successful business owners is really starting to get me so pumped. I think it's going to be a great, great feature of what I offer my clients. So yes, I go to the movies daily. Next is, what's the one thing you did today that made you feel successful, Marty? Having these kind of content ideas come to me gives me a real sense of feeling of success. I have to do it. I don't want to eliminate the fact it was my two amigos. They're constantly coming back and going out to the universe and coming back and here's the support material. Consider this. This is great stuff. So I listened to them. I even had a new piece of this insights content module where people can join in and, and form a chat string in Facebook Messenger and discuss a variety of topics about their effort to start their own business and doing the lessons and asking questions of other beginner entrepreneurs in that community of living the dream entrepreneurs. They're all doing the same thing and calling in and chatting about their dream, I call that the living the dream mastermind. I think that's going to be incredible. That's starting to get firmed up in my mind. So I'm feeling really successful about it. And so absolutely, that's the one thing I did today is had that constant playing of that opportunity in my mind. Croy next asks you to rate your day. So I gave my day a nine. I say a nine because I think I'm accomplishing task after task after task. And so I call it accomplishing tasks at a number nine speed. Kind of like the Trump speed only. I think I'm calling uh, this the rating for the day like it was I worked on this at the speed of nine or something like that. So that's kind of what's going on in my mind here. So my efforts are nine. I'm working at the task speed of nine. So the next question is, if this was the only thing you get done today, uh, tomorrow, but you'd still feel like a success, what would that one thing be? Put it into a power statement for tomorrow. And so like I do every night, here's my power statement I'm going to put down and it's going to be for tomorrow. Continue building out lesson seven until I run out of time or I get it done. I'm still not committing to finishing all of the segments tomorrow because I'm still not sure how long the remaining... Uh, Let's see, 18, so 14 segments are going to take to build it out. I might whip through them pretty fast, but I don't think so. But if I do, I'm excited about it. Otherwise, I'm going to work till 5, 30, 6 o'clock, then come down, she's home, and spend some time with my wife. And so I'll work until it's finished, or I'll work on as far as I can, and my day's done, and I'll start on it again tomorrow. Okay, let's end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. First of all, I'm grateful for my stash of pens and pencils. Look at this. Oh man, <laughs> I have to tell you about that. I'm grateful for those because I haven't had to go and buy a pen or a pencil for, man, I don't know how many years. I finally just made the decision to buy a bunch of pens and pencils and rubber bands and like that long time ago and here I am still using have a good wad of everything that I bought so many years, years ago. So it's been great to not ever worry about not having a pen. I guess I'm kind of a pen freak. Anyhow, next I'm grateful for the law of cause and effect or what some people call karma. 
The fact is, nothing is impossible without the law of cause and effect. Excuse me, nothing is possible without the law of cause and effect. The universe itself was born, so to speak, from cause. If you believe in the Big Bang Theory or you believe in intelligent design, either way, there was a cause and then an effect that produced the beautiful planet on which we live. It's just fantastic. Most scientists that I've read about attribute the creation of the universe to an immediate, extraordinary amount of energy. Bam! A singularity, so, so to speak, that birthed the entire cosmos. And we then are products of this same miraculous event. Via, it was one of cause and effect. Unlike this earth and its resources, we too possess capabilities and resources that are just waiting to be acknowledged and discovered. We just need to get after it. A law of attraction, law of manifestation through the portal of our mind into the world of the physical, piece after piece after piece. That's called accomplishing your dream. And lastly, I'm grateful for the emotion of fear. I know that sounds odd, but I say this because the ability to truly experience and understand the emotion we call fear is part of our personalities. And if we can see it for what it is, it will strengthen our courage, protect us from harm, and increase our capability for accomplishment. So fear is good if we manage those thoughts surrounding this emotion we call fear. We've got to manage the thoughts right, so we've got to think about it right, and then it's a powerful tool. It is, our excuse me, it is to our detriment if we avoid and distort or sidestep this important and constructive emotion. And the, nature, um, the natural fruits that would otherwise come from it, we've got to be very careful. When we see it in this positive frame of mind, we will come to understand that it is far from being man's enemy. Fear is a great and constructive force for good when we're afraid of the right things at the right time. The ancient Greeks even erected a temple so that they might show proper reverence to their so-called god of fear. Something to think about, isn't it? Fear is a powerful, powerful force when managed right by our right thinking. Okay, that's enough philosophizing for tonight. I truly enjoyed another day of living the dream. How about you? Bam! Done! I'll see you here tomorrow night at this same time and spot right here, sharing, philosophizing, and recording my experiences of living the dream. Until then, I wish you continued success. Good night.